Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. My name is Shai Bivia. I'm an entrepreneur who is also a flight attendant and US Airman who loves to share lifestyle, side hustle, and business gems that can help you earn passive income and live life on your own terms. So this time around, we decided to rent a Jeep so that we had a lot more flexibility to drive around and to do a lot more off-road stuff. I strongly recommend renting a vehicle when coming to Hawaii. We also decided to book a really cute, low-key Airbnb because our goal was to be outside most of the time anyway. This Airbnb had a lovely view of a diamond head, which is really cool. Uh, we went there the last time we came to Hawaii. It also had a really nice view of the ocean as well, which was nice. Now the first day, because we got in a little bit late, we didn't do much. We decided to stop by the Ala Moana Mall. The last time we came to Hawaii, we passed the mall almost every day and we just never went inside. So today we decided to just walk around and see what's in the mall. And surprisingly, they actually have a lot of food options, you guys. So I strongly recommend stopping by this mall. I stopped and had some refreshments at this juice place. It was so, so good. Also, I was able to find a really cute and cheap clothing store. I was surprised as to how cheap this store was in Hawaii, you guys. Honestly, it really reminded me kind of like a rainbow stores. beautiful people it is 7 a.m from the beautiful oahu we're on our way to the kamehameha highway <laughs> that's apparently that's like the most place to drive on when you come to hawaii or oahu right so it is like i said it's 7 a.m the sun sunrise this morning was like 6 58 a.m so i will have super early today let me know if you're one of those people who um, wake up early, even while you're traveling or you're on vacation to maximize your day, right? To maximize your itinerary and all of that. I'm one of those people. Uh, by the way, today's our anniversary. Have you got a new haircut? It's, it's growing. It's growing on me, I should say. Like, when that man walked through the door, I was a hot mess. I was like, what did you do and where is your hair? <laughs> but it's growing on me a little bit. Let me know what y'all think. He got a nice fade and everything. I've never seen him with his hair so long. Um, but anyway, you guys, it's Sunday. It's our anniversary. It's our second year anniversary, two year anniversary. I'm super excited. Um, we got married February 20th, 2020. It's triple twos. And so we're just gonna enjoy the day, go to the botanical gardens today, um, take some pictures. I may record a YouTube video today as well while I'm at the botanical garden since it's so beautiful there i may record a video about side hustles that you can start today you guys how you can make money online and also um companies that are always hiring remote okay how you can work from home travel the world travel anywhere okay anyway you guys i won't talk too much i'll just take you
what you call again? Maka poo poo. beach or something like that? Tide pool, yeah. Um, it looks really cool online, but you guys, tell me why this walk is about an hour. I did not know this <laughs> until we got here, okay? Like, look at this. I think it's going. So apparently it goes all the way up and then comes back down. We have our number two balloon here. Because it's our second year anniversary. I know it's a little bit corny, right? But whatever. Um, so we wanted to take some photos when we get down. So hopefully we can hang on to the balloons until we get there. I have it tied onto my wrist, y'all. Onto my watch. So hopefully it should be fine. So apparently the hike up there um, is apparently an hour, right? I don't know if I said that before. But anyway, we saw this pathway leading to the beach, leading to water. So we're like, you know what? Let's just take this pathway because I can actually see the water. And it looks like it's about maybe like a 20 minute walk. So you'll see the pathway bearing off to your right as soon as you're walking, like about to go up the hill. If you come here, um, the only thing I would suggest is um, if you're wearing slippers, definitely just brings a pair of sneakers because it's very rocky. And I'm really struggling to... I'm kind of struggling to walk in my slippers because it's just so much rocks. So I strongly suggest wearing like a closed so shoes, um, specifically like just like sneakers, okay, so that you don't have issues with the gravel and with all the the stones, okay. Just show the people all this darn gravel. Jeez. By the time I'm done with these shoes, I can't wear it nowhere. to the beach to think that we were about to walk up some hill you guys <laughs> but we made it it looks beautiful over here there's a lot of rocks and stuff let me just see if i can turn my camera hey you guys so we just hold on <laughs> look at this one over here so okay you guys so we just finished taking our photos it was beautiful along the beach right here so um, I love this man y'all find you a husband that loves you okay ladies don't settle for less okay don't settle for anything less than what you think you deserve okay let me just say that I also want to say that your time will come sooner than you expect it I call I call babe here my miracle man because he literally came out of nowhere he's literally my miracle husband okay um, he treats me so well he's so loving um, we have our moments and he's a little bit hard-headed sometimes, but um, <laughs> but I love him dearly and I have no doubt that this man loves me, okay? So if you're single and you're having doubts that you will meet your mister or your Boaz, you know, keep believing, keep having faith, keep praying for him, keep writing him down in your journal, right? Keep thanking God for him in advance and I'm telling you that he will Come. It's funny enough, some of you guys may not know our story, but we've been married for two years. We've only known each other for two years. <laughs> we've only known each other for two years and two months, okay? So the number two is really significant. We got married literally exactly two months after we went on our first date, okay? So we courted for two months and then we got married. We got married February 20th, 2020, and it's now 2020. Uh, well, it's now 2022 and we're celebrating our two year anniversary. So the number two is really significant. Trust God, okay? Trust God. Just hold oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, let's hurry up.
as it says. What did you get again? Uh, fruit punch, raspberry, and pineapple. Fruit punch, raspberry, and pineapple. And I got, what did I get? Orange and watermelon. Cheers! Hey y'all, good morning. It is Tuesday, it is day three. And we're on our way to um, Manoa Falls. And <clears throat> we're trying to do two hikes today. So we're heading to Manoa Falls and then we're heading to, what's the name of that? Coco Crater. So it kind of reminds me like the staircase or the stairway to heaven. Uh, right now that's closed. Uh, you're not allowed to do that. Um, the staircase to heaven is a lot more steep. <clears throat> than Coco Crater but it's somewhat similar so it gives you like a similar effect apparently it's like a mile point seven from trail but I hear that it gets pretty steep so we're gonna have some work to do this morning which is fine that's why I have my workout clothes on um, I like to get a little bit at least a little bit of workout in or a little bit of cardio in when I'm on vacation so that's what we'll be doing today I'm super excited about that then after that at the end of the day we have a, a dinner cruise tonight so i'm super excited about that as well so but anyway y'all it's a beautiful day in oahu hawaii and um i'll be taking you guys along with me so keep watching so the cost to enter the falls is eight dollars per car however if you do have a military id it's only four dollars per car Hey y'all, so we just got here. It is raining, so fortunately they had these pancho raincoat thingies, so I didn't think, we didn't think it was going to rain today, but oh well. I mean, I do see some sun peeking out a little bit, so hopefully it eventually comes out uh, while we're there, so, but yeah, come along for the ride. <laughs> the rooster. Look <laughs> at <laughs> these little roosters. pouring rain okay it's not a bad hike at all but it will definitely get your heart rate up so if you're looking for a light little cardio workout this is definitely it it's so scenic the view is amazing it's absolutely gorgeous and even though it's raining it's still worth it okay it's just beautiful the air is the air is just so pure and it's just so peaceful and it's just beautiful. So despite the rain and everything, it still feels great. Alright, so I'm not going to record the entire hike just because if you come here, I want you to be able to experience it yourself. And we finally made it to the falls. It felt so good to have completed our hike. You have the upper level and you have a lower level which is closer to the falls. However, they have explicit signs that states that it is dangerous to walk on the rocks. So you have to be very cautious when doing this. We did decide to go down because it was just a lot more scenic and beautiful closer to the falls and we were able to get this time to ourselves as well which was really nice. But it was so worth it to come all the way down here i strongly suggest that if you have like any injuries or anything like that to not come down here just because again you may fall right and you just have to be really really careful if you do decide to come down here um, but it's so beautiful look how tall how much feet did they say this was i can't remember how how tall the falls is but it's just so beautiful air here the air is so fresh especially after a long hike well it wasn't that long maybe like 30 minutes 
the air is just so refreshing. So yeah, if you've been thinking about doing this hike, I strongly recommend. <laughs> Glow. Uh, this has turmeric, ginger, lemon, and oranges. I believe it's so refreshing and so, so good. So right now we are, I really wanted to head straight to the hike, but Raymond over here, um, he was adamant that we stopped and grabbed something. I wasn't really hungry. I had some apples and peanut butter that yeah. I took with <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. He thinks it's gross, but it tastes like great to me. Okay, so I was having that. I wasn't really hungry. I like to beat the crowds and everything, and I just like to do things early. Like I said earlier, when we were leaving the Manoa Falls, a whole bunch of people were coming and uh, tour groups and stuff like that. So we literally we got there at the perfect time. When we got there, it was only like two or three vehicles there when we were leaving oh my gosh you could not find parking in the parking lot okay so we got there early enough we got time to ourselves there by the fall so i strongly suggest if you plan on going to the manoa falls go there super early it seems like they open really early because when we went like 7 30 there were people leaving so they probably open like six or something like that so i strongly suggest going before like eight seven o'clock in the morning if you plan to go there but anyway you guys i'm gonna have this juice and then i will and then we'll be heading over to the coco crater trails <laughs> Now, Coco Crater, also known as Coco Head, actually has 1,048 steps and is 642 feet high, okay? This hike is not for the paint apart. I'm telling you, it was not the easiest. But you guys, the view, the view was so amazing. It was so beautiful. I mean, the workout was definitely work it, worth it, but honestly, it was hard, you guys. I, I won't even lie. It took us like two hours to get to the top, okay? But it was worth it. the hike we stopped by one of my absolute favorite local grocery stores in hawaii called down to earth they have a lot of vegan and vegetarian meals they have a lot of natural juices just a lot of healthy stuff it kind of reminds me of a mini whole foods i got a lot of um a few refreshment drinks and i also got my absolute favorite tofu masubi honestly you guys whether or not you're a vegetarian definitely try this it is so so good one of my absolute hey guys favorites. so we were so tired today after that hike by coco crater oh my gosh let me tell you even the fittest of the fittest right was like struggling at least a little bit so if you ever plan to do that hike i definitely say give yourself give yourself like about two hours just to go up okay it may take you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to come back down it's a little bit easier it still take a lot of effort right especially after being up so uh, especially after climbing so far for so long right your legs got a little bit wobbly but it's definitely worth it up at, at the top we really wanted to nap when we got back we didn't get to nap because we want to get to get to the cruise the parking lot for the cruise early so that we can actually find parking we definitely were refreshed by those um juices that we got by organic earth um or down to earth that's definitely one of my favorite go-to local healthy stores i strongly recommend it if you're ever in um hawaii so we're on our way and um i'll take you guys along with me i'm super excited it's supposed to be like a live show um we'll be greeted with cocktails or whatever and we're gonna have like a three course meal and everything so i'm super excited about that so i'll see you guys in a bit once we get there and just a quick tip, if you do decide to do the Star of Honolulu cruise and you don't want to pay full price for parking, you can actually stop by one of the local stores and have your ticket validated. 
which is exactly what I did. <laughs> While we waited to board the ship, they had live entertainment and music, which was really nice. The sunset, oh my gosh, you guys, the sunset was so beautiful. This was just a beautiful evening sail. I strongly recommend doing this cruise when you come to Hawaii. <laughs> Now it's time to check in for our Kaneohe Sandbar Snorkel Cruise, which includes ocean sports, adventure, and live music. No, I see. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to pull on. How long do you have? We'll leave tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Ah, I won't move it. Thank you. The king himself, the legend, Mr. Bob Martin. favorite water activities you guys i just love experiencing and seeing what's underwater if you want to see one of the largest coral reefs definitely go to belize um, but this was beautiful as well what i love about the sandbar is that you get three hours to do snorkeling kayaking and stand up paddle boarding <laughs> this took a lot of balance in you guys but it was a lot of fun though After all those activities, Hubby and I decided to go get a massage by Aloha Massage Spa. A massage is typically on my list when I travel. I can't remember my massage therapist's name, but he was so, so good. He was bomb.com. I strongly recommend this place. We then decided to just take a stroll before I visited my cousin and his family. <laughs> So you know you know I cast my name off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out. <laughs> I sure think that if I was going to another, you would have seen me in the middle <laughs> When are you coming out? Three boys. Um, I have like three years left. Left. Hey y'all, so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So let me just start with the bad news first. Okay, the bad news is the, our flight got canceled. Um, to Dallas, right? So we we were gonna do a connecting flight from um, Honolulu to Minneapolis and then from Minneapolis to Dallas, but apparently there's some winter storm and all of that, which I did not even know about, honestly, right? I'm just having a jolly old time here. Don't even know what's going on back home. It, that's in effect from today to like tomorrow at 6 p.m., Thursday at 6 p.m., right? Originally, we weren't going to get to Dallas even though we were planning to leave today. So the goal was to leave today. We had a 5 p.m. flight today to Minneapolis, which wouldn't have arrived until tomorrow, Thursday, like 5 a.m. And then from there, we were gonna head to um, Dallas because of the time difference, so we wouldn't have gotten there until tomorrow. But even tomorrow morning, flights are like canceled into Dallas tomorrow morning. 
um, and today. So we just decided to extend our stay. Guys, the great news is we get to stay for the next few days, a couple more days in um, Hawaii. Um, that's what I really wanted to do originally. I really wanted to stay here until kind of like Friday. Um, the next good news is that um, instead of us extending this place, uh, we kind of like this Airbnb and all, but fortunately my cousin has an extra place here in Hawaii. So <laughs> we're able to stay there, which is great. So we'll be doing that. We didn't really have a lot of things planned, obviously because the goal was we were planning on leaving today. So we don't really have things planned for the next two days. Anyway, guys, you'll see what we'll be up to. I'll take you guys along with me, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> now, if you're looking for a really good brunch spot near the Waikiki area, I strongly suggest Goofy Cafe. Now, I have to forewarn you that the wait is kind of long because it's so good, but it's so worth it. Whether you're a vegan, vegetarian, a meat lover, the food options are just so good. The juices are fresh. It's just amazing. Hey y'all, so we are heading to the bus stop. We're taking the bus to the Bishop Arts Museum. Is it Bishop Arts? I think it's called the Bishop something museum. Um, the bus comes in like literally nine minutes. So we're trying to hurry up so that we don't miss the bus because who knows when it's gonna come again. So um, the last time we were in Hawaii, we basically took the bus for our entire trip. Um, it's actually not really hard or that bad taking the bus, honestly. And like I said, we're taking the bus because we dropped off our Jeep yesterday because we were really supposed to leave yesterday. We'll be catching the bus for the next couple of days of being here, um, which is nice too because, you know, we get to walk a little bit, stretch our legs, burn some calories, all that good stuff. Oh, I thought that was the bus. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys when we get to the museum. Bye. Now, in order to catch the bus in Oahu, Hawaii, you need to stop at one of the ABC stores and purchase and reload a holo card, which is only $5.50 per person, and it allows you to ride the bus for the entire day. The last time we were in Hawaii, this was not yet in effect, so this is quite new. And this ABC store didn't have it, so we had to go across the street to get it. So of course, we missed our bus. But fortunately, this bus comes about every 15 to 20 minutes.
Yeah, we are walking. No I strongly suggest visiting the Bishop Bernice Museum. They had a lot of dope pictures and this was only like the first level and only one building. They had like three different buildings to explore. It was just amazing. This Marukami Japanese restaurant is very, very popular. As you can see, the line is really long, but the food, you guys, was so, so good. They had a lot of different options. Whether you're a vegetarian, seafood lover, a meat lover, they had a lot of different options for everybody. I strongly suggest trying the potato croquette. Croquette? <laughs> it was so, so good. We then tried out this matcha ice cream place called Matcha Cafe. It was quite interesting. It was a little bit different. I had the matcha and vanilla ice cream. They also had sweet potato ice cream as well, which was really interesting. And hubby here decided to try the sweet potato ice cream. And on the last day before we left, we decided to rent a couple of scooters to just ride around. This was so fun and freeing. Um, it's super easy to do. You just download an app. You can find scooters just hanging around. You can ride it to grocery stores, ride it to the beach, just wherever you need it to go and you just bring it back. All right, beautiful people, we have come to the end of the vlog. It was an absolute pleasure. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscription button as well. Let me know also if you plan on doing anything that I mentioned in this video. Until next time.